how's everybody doing this evening? Um, just thought I'd make another short little video, you know, me and my son here, C. Coulter. He's actually sleeping right now, so gotta be kind of quiet. Um, just another evening in the truck, uh, letting the world know what we're doing, what's going on. Uh, not a lot going on, just working, um, you know, trying to make the best of the situation we're in. It's not easy. Uh, as you can see here, well, I guess first, let me show you how we used to live. We used to get pictures done every year, and that's uh, a couple of years ago. We've got more pictures. Uh, we got a little bit of money saved. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, still can't get a place. Uh, you know, every every time I try to find a roommate, it, it seems like they're the enemy. Um, if I go on Craigslist and I try to find somebody, you can automatically tell, and it's, it's not just out of paranoia, it's because I've actually been burned since this little expedition started. Been burned uh, a couple of times. And one other time was very suspicious. Uh, it's gone way too far. I mean, you know, Christmas is here. Uh, I can't even supply a good Christmas for my son. People want to make stories up about me. Uh, you know, first off, I don't even use drugs. I don't even smoke marijuana. Uh, I can't. Um, I still can't get my prescriptions back from the doctor. I have uh, a lot of chronic pain issues and I have very high blood pressure. My uh, my feet and my legs, I don't know if I can show them to you now. I might have to wait and do it in another video. Maybe we can grab the flashlight here and show you how swollen they are. You might kind of be able to see it. See how my sock is pushing in to my, my cankle now. Um, that's not because these socks are new. As you can see, it's pushing in pretty far. I've actually had those socks for a couple of years now. And uh, it's just because I'm so swollen. Um, I started looking up signs of lung cancer. I am a cigarette smoker, but at the same time, uh, just going through all the health things, the, the bad things that I've gone through, uh, it's, it seems like I could possibly have an, an onslaught of uh, lung cancer. Um, I try to eat as healthy as I can, but also since we're poor and homeless, we have to eat out most of the time. There is a homeless shelter in the next town over but since I work nights, because that's where the money's at, for what I do, uh, there's no way to get in because they close the doors, I think, at like 6 o'clock. And uh, on top of that, they also have the, the free food, but I don't take advantage of that because a lot of the, the homeless people around here are drug addicts and alcoholics. And they're, you know, there's very few families. It's mainly just uh, transients coming in and out trying to get a free ride. Uh, and the food isn't the best, and that's just not healthy for me and my son. Not that fast food is healthier, but you're paying for a service then, so you're actually paying for hygiene at the same time. So I feel more comfortable using that. Uh, it, it's it's gone. It's it's uh it's gotten really really bad. You know, I can't. I can barely work. I work as much as I can, but I can barely work because of uh, the pain that I'm going through. And uh, on you know the stress and everything, my knees are swollen up like the size of three softballs. From uh, the doctor not giving me my medication, not getting exercise, not eating healthy, uh, not having my blood pressure medication. Um, it's gotten really severe. I, I haven't heard from from the civil rights groups yet. Hopefully, I will hear something soon. I think I contacted uh, six six of them maybe seven, plus the President of the United States, you know, 
of course he doesn't care that much he doesn't even care about you know his his own people uh, so the odds of hearing back from him are probably minimal to none <clears throat> but uh you know we're still surviving we're still doing all we can and uh we're still here so i hope you guys have a good evening and uh if you can pass my video on please i have evidence for over 20 lawsuits in gallatin county montana i intend on fighting and getting a very hefty settlement or dying trying i hope you guys have a good night we'll talk to you later